Hey there, beautiful souls, and welcome to this uh, message today. Not quite as I expected, um, and that's why I wanted to deliver this particular message for you guys today. It is, I'm literally stuck here at the moment um, on in a random caravan park on a road where um, our car just broke down, and uh, um, that's why today's message that I want to share with you guys is entitled whatever you neglect will come to collect. And that's what uh, has happened today. So um, one of our cars has had some issues recently and, uh, and we're just literally going on this beautiful drive up the mountains today and the car up the mountain just power went off basically and we had to just quickly pull over to the side of the road and uh, kind of in the middle of nowhere like we just wrote uh, we just uh, uh, walked down the hill here a few hundred meters and there's a car caravan park a random caravan park which luckily for me had a bathroom and uh, you know now it's raining and whatever so um, and we're not getting the car towed for another probably three hours or so so we're just figuring out what we're going to do right now, but um, I wanted to take the time with the last little bit of my battery um, right now to make sure that I'm still staying committed. No matter what life throws at me, I'm staying committed to um, this challenge, this choosing love over fear challenge and uh, using what's happening for me today uh, to actually just kind of use it for our own personal growth and development and think about like for us today, what we were neglecting was seeing what was wrong with the car and taking it out on a big long, long trip and it's come to collect, right? And so we can have these times in our lives or anything in our life where we're kind of neglecting it. Maybe it's something in our relationship, uh, maybe it's something in our health, Maybe it's something in our financial uh, life. Maybe it's something in a friendship. Whatever it might be, whatever we neglect, it will come to collect. So you've either gonna, you're either gonna take care of it while it's small and while it's, you know, just go and do whatever, you, whatever it's needed to be done, so that you don't have to have an experience like we're having today, where days wiped out had all these nice plans of going and exploring um, in a beautiful town, not too far from us, but definitely far too far to walk, uh, called Mullaney uh, here in Queensland, about an hour's drive from where we live. And, uh, and definitely then we were gonna go back home and we were gonna go and do some cool um, new recovery therapy that we've never done before, which is uh, compression therapy. Uh, so, you know, but we're gonna have to cancel that. Um, because we're not going to be home and right now we're just kind of figuring out how do we make it an, a, it an adventure, maybe get in an Uber and go somewhere and get some lunch because we haven't eaten all day. Uh, we were on our way uh, to actually have a nice meal at a nice restaurant. And, but again, whatever we neglect will come to collect. So either you can take the time when it's small and go and do what needs to be done what in whatever area that is, or you're gonna end up in a situation where you're forced to deal with it and maybe it uh, you know, gets in the way of what you'd rather be doing. So that's my message for you guys today. I'm really exhausted and tired as well, so not the best of situations, but you know, we're gonna turn it around and make the most of it. And I'll report back tomorrow to see how we converted this into a bit of an adventure um, when uh, what we were neglecting came to collect. But I definitely wanna check in with you guys and say hi and thank you so much for showing up on this random message and say hi to George, hello to you, my friend. And Sanford's in the house, good to see you. And Ty, glad to hear your nice message. Well. I'm grateful that it's landed as a nice message for you, my friend, and good to see you back. And uh, Donald's here as well, and Javier, beautiful, sorry to hear about your car. <laughs> no worries, and thanks for tuning in from San Diego. Always good to see you, my friend. Um, but yes, gonna turn this around and just hope that um, 
you know, this little misadventure and unexpected turn of events uh, can help you to just think in your own life, what might I be neglecting? Maybe it's a car situation like we've found ourselves into in today. Um, or maybe it's in, yeah, like maybe you've had some niggles in your health and you're like, oh, I really probably should go and get that seen to or, you know, take some care of myself in that realm. But you know, but maybe you've been neglecting it and it will come to collect eventually, right? So you might as well take the time consciously uh, to look after it. Or maybe it's in one of your relationships right now. What have you been neglecting? What conversation have you been putting off having that could come to collect in a big fight that's unnecessary, right? If you were to just address the reality of what was going on. So Wherever it, wherever it is for you, I hope that today's message and learning through my experience today um, will help you and support you to break through and stop neglecting some key area in your own life so it doesn't come and collect on you. All right, that is it from me today. So much love coming your way. And thank you guys for showing up today. So appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you tomorrow for day 28, I think we're up to. And I'll report back how we make it how we made it an adventure and I'm going to get a better sleep so I can speak properly as well all right <laughs> much love and I'll see you guys tomorrow Mwah.